Hey guys, it's JCB. Thanks for stopping by. Um, just wanted to give you a short sort of two month, um, two month update, I suppose. Uh, two months of ownership thoughts on the Amiga Seamaster Professional. Um, it's a great, great watch. Um, you know, spoiler alert, love the watch. It's fantastic. Um, I thought I'd just give you guys some thoughts though on a couple of things that I like about it and a couple of things that I, that I don't sort of like about it. Like it's a great watch, but it's not perfect. So I just wanted to highlight some of the sort of minor niggles that I had with the watch and, you know, maybe that'll, uh, you know, give you some more information and, um, you know, some, some food for thought um, as you're thinking through the purchase. Now, there's a million and one videos about this watch on, on, uh, on the tube. Um, you've probably watched them all already, um, but a lot of them I find have just been really super positive about the watch and they haven't really looked at some of the negatives as well. So I just wanted to kind of highlight those really. Um, because I haven't really seen other people talking about them. The exceptions, I think, are uh, Bruce Williams, who's done a, a, a number of videos on the Seamaster, and ID Guy, who did a really great video um, on this on this piece. Um, so check those ones out. Um, now I don't want this to be all negative. It's a great it's a great watch. Like I, I recommend that you buy it. It's fantastic. It's um, you know it's the dial is just stunning. The ceramic dial. The ceramic bezel, um, the case, you know, all of the engineering, the movement, the fit and finish. Well, well, some most of the fit and finish. We'll get to the finish um, a bit later in the video. Um, but look, overall, it's a stunning piece. And also, you can you can actually buy the watch. It's available. You can go into your AD. You can try it on. Uh, you know, you can. Uh, get it sized up, uh, pay your money, and then walk out wearing the watch if you like. So that's a, a major, that's a major draw card. Also the price, you know, um, you know, with discounts, you can kind of get around in the range of 20% discount just from your, from the AD. Um, where I live in Australia, the boutiques, they don't discount, but the ADs do. So, you know, you can, you can shop around they these ones the black dial version doesn't come up too much on the used market in my neck of the woods there's quite a, a few, i see a few blue ones but not the black ones so that's why i just had to get this one brand new from the ad um so yeah there's quite, it's got a lot of things going for it um now the things that i just want to make you aware of um really i think have to do with the bracelet i reckon um, the bracelet is really sharp, um, at least my one, my one is, the inside edges of the bracelet and the clasp, um, all of these sections of the clasp, uh, you know, this section, all those bits there. So when you're putting the watch on, um, firstly you feel it, you feel it scrape, this thing, this part here, that really scrapes up on, on that part of your, your hand and you'll feel, you know, the first week or well, the first couple of days at least I had the watch on I just kept on feeling all of these little bits here um, in the bracelet and it was really annoying me to the point where I was having second thoughts about the watch I was like what what's what's going on here what have they how could Amiga have released this watch out into the wild with that sort of um, you know manufacturing um, whether it's design or manufacturing, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a combination. Um, but after about a week, you know, your wrist gets used to the feeling, I suppose, and you get desensitized to it. So, you know, after a little while, that's fine. But still, I mean, I think they should have just polished those chamfers a little bit, or those edges, and just chamfered them a little bit. Um, it just would have made such a difference, I reckon. And I don't know if I... You know, just doing that running that you can feel all those little those little bits there the little the round the, I mean the the edges of each link 
they're really quite sharp. So that's 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 one that's one thing. The other thing is the the size and, and the weight of the watch. It's really a heavy watch now. I think it's about 180 grams, um, and this is sized to a 17 centimeter wrist, so it doesn't have all the links. Uh, you know, your average watch is like uh, maybe 90 to 160 grams. So this is boom. It's in the next category up. 180 grams. So you feel it on the wrist. It's a quite a. It's quite a heavy watch. Uh, you know, it's not doesn't weigh you down, um, but you you definitely notice that it's there. You, every moment of the day, you 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 know that it's there. Um, so if you're looking for a kind of a one of those everyday divers that's just gonna slide under the cuff and you're just not gonna know it's there, that's a super light thing. Then I don't think this will be the watch for you, unfortunately. Um, so the other, there's a couple of other things. Um, so the clasp is really thick. Um, you can see that there. I mean, it's massive. Um, they need to do that for the, you know, for the, um, for the adjustable, um, clasp system, which is awesome. Like, that's great. That's a really great feature, but the price you pay is having this thick, like super thick clasp. Like it's, it's humongous. Look at that. You know, that's, here's a, that's a Breitling mesh bracelet clasp, you know, compared to that. You know, there we go. You can see the big, big difference. Um, and you, you'll notice that on your, on your wrist, you'll notice it visually and you'll notice it like when you're putting your hands in your jeans pocket or when you're at your desk and you're desk diving, you'll just notice that it's there. The, the other thing about the bracelet is you'll see, look at the end link, how it's got this really pronounced um, curve and the, 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 the bracelet, the, these connecting links come in down right at the bottom. So just in terms of design, you get this really funky bump and then the bracelet comes down. It just, just kind of looks odd, I think. I just would have preferred if, if these connecting links had been higher up, in, up, into the, up into the link, it would have been a smoother transition from the case to the bracelet and it just would have looked so much better. Um, it's kind of a minor thing, but it's it's not really. I mean, look at it. It's just kind of a bit funky. It's a bit, it's a bit odd, to be honest. Um, but, you know, just one of those things you got to live with, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that's, you know, they're kind of the niggles. I just wanted to bring those to your attention, really. Um, overall, though, it's still a great watch. Uh, when you strap it on and you walk outside, it's, when you're out in the in, in the in the light and you know you're walking under trees and you get all these different reflections, it's just such a cool piece. It's amazing. It's awesome. It just looks great, and you actually you know it makes you kind of feel it makes you smile when you look down and, and you see this thing. It's it's a real killer piece. Um, obviously, all of the tech and you know the the weight makes it a very sturdy watch. So you know if you actually do. Um, you know, go out swimming and, and diving, you, you know, you know that this thing's going to be with you. Um, well, the, the helium valve, the helium escape valve, look, I, I don't mind it. It's, yeah, look, I prefer if it was probably the old shape helium escape valve is a lot better um, because the old shape was more like a, of a, more of a cylindrical shape, whereas this one is a more conical shape. The old cylindrical shape sort of matched the crown and so there was a bit more kind of visual cohesion i suppose between you know the two the two crowns whereas this one is a different shape to this one so it just kind of does look odd as well but you know you get used to it uh, i don't even i don't even sweat that now i don't even care um, i don't even notice it to be honest so um yeah it's 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 there but you know it's okay um all of the other stuff just detracts from that. When you look at the watch, you're just looking at the dial and 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 the hands and um, and the bezel, um, and 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 that's all you all you're looking at. So yeah, cool piece. Um, really enjoy it. Um, 
hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you think. Um, if you've got one, what are your thoughts? Um, so yeah, uh, just t getting it on and off is a you'll 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 feel these scrapes. Okay, um, you know, get yourself a get yourself a strap. I reckon the Amiga rubber is pretty expensive and it looks a bit funky. You know, this I've got this custom um, ostrich leg with some red stitching um, to go with it. I, I chuck this on every now and then just to give it a bit more of a chilled sort of sort of vibe. Um, super comfy. This thing's a strap monster, so you can add all, all sorts of straps to it. You know, vintage brown, um, rubber, you know, whatever exotic skin you want to put on, NATOs. Um, it, you know, it, it takes heaps of straps, so that's, a, that's another cool thing. So I think you'll find, if you buy it, you'll, you'll end up getting um, a strap or two just to, just to keep with it. Uh, what else? I think that's it. So uh, I'll leave it there. Um, thanks very much for stopping by again. Uh, if you like this video, just give it a like, uh, give it a thumbs up, give me a sub, all that cool stuff. Um, you know, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. You know, if, if I get a bit of feedback on this video, I'll pump out some more content. You know, I've got a cool, I've got a few other watches that uh, I want to get to review as well. Um, they're sitting right beside me. I won't, uh, uh, you know, I won't spoil it. But uh, yeah, cheers, guys.